This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back to more Miles Edge, where face attorney investigations, prosecutor's path, everybody. We are... Oh, and here to turn about end and part, part three. three. <laughs> this, might be, this might be the final part. We don't it really know. Be. I should know because I played it before. I know we have a lot of the game left. So. April 2nd, 3.11 p.m. Zodiac Art oh Gallery. My gosh. Fountain patio. Justine looks like she has a goatee around her mouth. On the upper screen. Justine? Oh my gosh, she does. Doesn't it look like that? <laughs> at first and I was then, looking at Delicia. And then uh, Larry looks like he's been beaten up a bit on the <laughs> But upper he's screen. giving everyone a thumbs up and, and Ray's just like, I can't even watch. Yep. <laughs> this is too painful. Miss Hall, have you composed yourself? Yes. What you did, no matter the reason, was unforgivable. I don't think Jesus would agree. <laughs> Yep, I know. <laughs> However, you committed this crime in order to prove Mr. Master's innocence. If the true culprit is someone else, we have a duty to reinvestigate. <laughs> Castlevania music. <laughs> no false evidence from I-7 incident remains in the official case files. Moreover, there is no evidence to lend cre credence. 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 You know the weird guy from Fantastic Beasts? <laughs> Credence. Credence? Credence. It is Credence? Yeah. Why'd they name him that? Weird He kid. had a bad mother. <laughs> Pretty bad mother. Uh, we should first arrest Miss Hall as the culprit behind today's incident. We cannot be certain that all the case files are accurate. After all, the prosecutor in the case has a history of forging evidence. Are you suggesting that the PIC overlooked such a prosecutor? Yes! <laughs> Absolutely! That's none of my concern. The truth is the evidence that- the truth is that evidence was falsified. And the fact that Dover's body from 18 years ago was just discovered proves it. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I see remnants of Prosecutor Von Karma within you. What did you say? You try to deceive the PIC and fabricate the truth. Let me inform you of my, or rather, the PIC's logic. Oh, okay, we're cross-examining her. I didn't even think... Okay, no, we're even farther behind than I thought. I acknowledge that Prosecutor Von Karma fabricated the information about the body. I literally thought that said my... Wow. Why? Yeah. However, he, su he successfully convicted Mr. Master as an accomplice. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today in order to pin the blame on him. She didn't attempt to murder, she just sprung a trap. Is that really what the PIC believes? Yes. Every word I utter is for the sake of law and order. My favorite TV show. It seems she intends to hide the truth for the sake of the PIC. At this rate, neither Mr. Master nor Miss Hall will be saved. Let's rebut this. I acknowledge that Prosecutor Von Karma, Karma fabricated the information. I acknowledge Prosecutor Von Karma was a colossal butt. Yes. <laughs> if you won't acknowledge that, if you acknowledge that, why won't you reopen the case? Should have been a question mark there. The goddess of law does not err in her judgments. She's a very weird oh, philosophy. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you ask me, she doesn't have a weird philosophy. <laughs> and if you ask me, it's all been bogus ever since Von Karma fabricated evidence. And you claim that justice was served? What is the PIC thinking? I can already declare my verdict. There is no need for further investigation. Let's hear your explanation on the matter then. He successfully convicted Mr. Master. Hold it! I heard that the biggest factor in Mr. Master's conviction was his confession. If Prosecutor Von Karma had a hand in his confession, the ruling may not be just. The initial investigation was handled by Detective Rip Lacer. <laughs> Detective Rip <Replacer. laughs> He was the one who obtained the confession, according to the official reports. All I can say is that the ruling has already been handed down. Jeez, what does Miss Courtney have to be so stubborn? 
Is the PIC so high and mighty? They sure seem like the arch enemy of prosecutors, to say the least. Hmm. So they're kind of like what the police are to the great thieves. Says the great thief who nonchalantly works alongside the police. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. Are you saying that both Miss Hall and Mr. Master murdered Isaac Dover? Mr. Master committed the murder. Well, Miss Curator moved the body. That's what I believe. What? How can you say that? We would never kill Monsieur Dover. Don't care. Guilty. Did you not steal the body and preserve it for 18 years? It is only natural to suspect you of being an accomplice. She has already confessed to her crimes, and now is not the time to judge her of her past crimes. In that case, let's judge Miss Hall for her current crime. She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today. If she wanted to pin the crime on somebody, why choose Mr. Gustavia? Perhaps Mr. Gustavia suspected Mr. Hall was the criminal. Miss Hall. Miss Hall! <laughs> As he attempted to confirm whether or not the Gemini sculpture was genuine. What I, is that voice? That was the voice of, uh, I'm, I'm, embarrassed. I'm very mad that I said Mr. instead of Ms. That was like, that went from a British accent he to like a bad to Japanese accent. <laughs> no! No, that's Cookie Mama. He was caught in the trap meant to silence him forever. Can you prove that the theory? Can you prove that the theory? Yeah. Mr. Gustavia is currently teetering on the brink of death. There's probably no way to prove it unless he regains consciousness. Oh well, too bad. <laughs> Case of closed. In other words, there is nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must still be something we can do. Did you know Cold Killer X kills colds kill, good? Kills colds good and gets rid of Megatoxin X from the bloodstream. <laughs> and Mr. Clean recommends it. <laughs> Mr. Clean cleans it up. I want him in Smash. Mr. Clean cleans up. Then, then make him a me fighter. <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clearer explanation. We already have ample evidence for both the IS-7 incident and today's poison gas incident. By ample evidence, you mean... For the IS-7 incident, we have a body, the murder weapon, and a pair of suspects. For the poison gas incident, we have the two chemicals and Miss Hall's confession. Furthermore, I have finished collecting all of the evidence necessary. For your own PIC hearing, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What? How can you say something like that so casually? Miles, you know you're always welcome to join the Edgeworth Law Offices. <sighs> Judge Courtney, I'd like to ask that you refrain from making such needless remarks. Hmm, I understand. Well, regardless. No need to investigate any further. Are you saying that there is nothing left for us to investigate? We have already exhausted all ends in regards to evidence. The court will accept no further deliberations. I shall now deliver my verdict for the defendant, Catherine Hall. I hereby pronounce you- Hold it! There is still a need for further investigation. If you wish to halt my verdict, please do so with evidence. That is, if there is any evidence that requires further deliberation. I cannot allow this case to end here. There is still something that needs to be cleared up. Looks like I'll have to show Judge Courtney something to convince her. <laughs> well, the first thing that comes to my mind, because I actually don't remember, is we still don't know who made these finger marks. Yeah. But Edgeworth doesn't agree. Maybe it's the, the, the rock lamps. Rock salt lamp? Nope. Um. Is the Pisces sketch the thing that Lloris made? No, that's the sketch of the beauty. Oh, actually, yeah, it is. Why is there still blood coming out of a victim that has been. That's not blood, that's the gas. Or oh, like okay. the normalium fatalium mixture.
Traces of salt, sugar, and blood detected. The sugar matches the light blue liquid found in Dover's room 18 years ago. The sugar found in the fountain also appears to have the same composition. All right. We need to examine the chocolate oh, wait. Oh, is it just the family photo? No. The IS-7 case file. All right. Statue of limitations ran out. Rock salt lamp was the murder weapon. Victim, he was made in jail. Uh, he led to his arrest in jail. He was diagnosed with hypergusea, treated by medicine. After his own confession, he was convicted as an accomplice to the murder. Because the victim's body vanished, there appears to be no autopsy report. Is that the true reason? Yeah, we could just put that in there. No? Mm. Thank There's goodness no we need to investigate states. any further. You know why I need to investigate further? It's because of... The, the, oh, teapot? No? We're just gonna... Oh, wait. Duck. I'm just trying every piece of evidence. You get to hear this nonstop. Okay, it was apparently the report on the sugar. Cool. There is still one piece of evidence from the IS-7 incident that remains unsettled. Take a look at this! <laughs> See if you can get through here, Sonic. This is... This is the forensic results from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the Winter Palace. According to the results of the analysis, traces of someone's blood were found. Uh -huh. Who does this blood belong to? Oh, that's right. Until we know the answer, this case is still open. Okay, okay. Oh, whoops. We just forgot. There was blood mixed in with the remains of the Gemini sculpture. Okay, here's what I want to know. De Best has been gone for like two hours. <laughs> He's ordering Subway. He's ordering He's... Subway for everyone. No, just for him. Just for him. Because he's the best. <laughs> and then he'll have, like, he'll get just, the, just a cookie. Just a cookie. I hate the Subway cookies. <laughs> I'll give her my cookie. And then, um, and then he finally went to talk Speak to the Speak of the devil. <laughs> I've heard none of this from Sebastian. This was a report from Detective Gumshoe. I had planned to tell Mr. DeBest myself. Huh. <gasps> so even though you have no investigative authority, you still did as you please. I shall report everything that transpired today to the PIC. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook the mistakes of the past. If you wish to report my actions to the PIC, be my guest. But in exchange, I want you to let me investigate this case to the very end. It is not my place to decide such things. I must ask that you check with Sebastian regarding this matter. Huff, huff. Hey! Good news, you guys! Subway gave me two cookies! <laughs> oh, hey! He was beat up. <laughs> Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved. Mr. Gustavia. So, he's alive. Uh, he has some more scars on him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Would you be the ones who saved my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia. Mmm! You are Sir Assistant, are you not? <laughs> You've grown so big! This time, this one is your assistant then? I'm like... I might... Are we gonna get murdered here? <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> He's an assistant candidate. And Gregory Edgeworth's son. I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. Mm, what a twist of fate! I am in your debt! It is thanks to you that I have completely recovered. <laughs> There's no need for thanks. That's he also has a massive tan compared to last time. Well, that's how it be sometimes. <laughs> Since you're alive, you we can reach the truth behind the incident 18 years ago. The truth is, he just got older and he got some skin damage. Maybe. It mm -hmm. I didn't read that because I bumped the table and pushed the button by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the truth of 18 years ago. <laughs> While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to light. You may be Isaac Dover's murderer. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? You missed it all, bro. Miss Hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago. That's why she set up the poison gas in the Pisces case. Uh-huh. He has a kick-butt theme song. 
He does. Mr. Why is he no longer wearing red? Or is he it? He doesn't cut himself anymore. <laughs> or is it because all of the red has turned brown from all the blood stains yeah. over the years? Mr. Gustavia, the events of the incident 18 years ago. Tell us what really happened. No. So you wish to remain silent? Nah, I think he's just meditating. He can sleep standing up? What a useful skill to have! Meditation is different from sleeping, though. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us what you did 18 years ago. <laughs> I'm the criminal because I fell for the trap. That's not a very funny joke. I'm a victim, not a culprit. Ooh, wow. Mr. Gustavia, it has not yet been made clear whether or not you are the criminal. This is only their baseless speculation. Do not concern yourself with the drivel of a prosecutor without jurisdiction. Mm. At least there is one person here who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I am a judge. If you would like, I would be happy to assist you. Let us show Prosecutor Edgeworth the truth of 18 years ago. Mm. Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, sir prosecutor. While I blow bubbles. Judge Courtney, is that your answer? Do you intend to bury the truth of the IS-7 incident before it can be brought to light? I merely believe in the judgments of the goddess of law. Ultimately, those who render judgment are only human. As long as humans control the law, there is no guarantee that every verdict is correct. If you are going to help conceal the truth, I will not hold back. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Lady Justine. What should I do now? You are being suspected because you set off the poison gas. Can you tell us the reason? Why you opened the Pisces case? Understood. I came to see Sir Dover's works from 18 years ago. However, I accidentally entered the museum a half hour before it opened. How do you accidentally do that? <laughs> Miss Hall, there was nobody at the entrance, correct? Since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago might be coming, I had no security guards in place. I didn't even lock the doors. I was very busy with opening preparations, so there was nobody on the first floor. In addition, I locked every palace door aside from the autumn one. I see. This must have been done in order to lure the criminal to the autumn palace. Which is why he ended up entering the autumn palace. It's already suspicious that he snuck into the museum in the first place. The gallery should remain silent. Unless you have evidence that can prove his testimony false, I will not allow any objections. Gallery? This isn't even a courtroom. Now then, why did you open the Pisces case? I wish to view Sir Dover's handiwork up close. The Gemini sculpture. No, it was actually the Pisces, wasn't it? The lid had been frozen shut, so I borrowed a burner to open it. But as soon as I opened the lid, poison gas began pouring out. That's quite a convenient testimony. Sounds like a total lie, doesn't it? There are parts of Mr. Gustavia's testimony that I have issues with as well. However, there is no evidence to disprove it. But, but that's... Would it not make sense for suspicion to fall on Lady Catherine before myself? She may have intended to release the poison gas haphazardly. Objection. Kate turned on the sprinklers as soon as the gas was released. She was specifically targeting the person who triggered the trap. Mr. Gustavia, you were her only target. You, you are willing to accept the words of this criminal as the truth? Miss Hall must atone for her crimes. However, the same can be said for the criminal from 18 years ago. Sir Prosecutor, it seems you wish to suspect me to the bitter end. However, I had no reason to murder Sir Dover. If there is no evidence to suggest that I killed him, you cannot suspect me. Ugh! Mr. Edgeworth, can't you prove that Mr. Gustavi is the, the criminal? The criminal. No. <laughs> to the end. <laughs> All we know for sure is that Mr. Gustavia fell victim to the poison gas. No matter how strange his behavior was, it won't prove he committed the murder. But that's... Mr. Shields, is there nothing we can do? 
Well, if there isn't any evidence, we should try reorganizing the facts. If Mr. Gustavia was the one who killed Mr. Dover, there must have been a motive. Motive. Mr. Gustavia himself is denying that such a motive exists. The photograph. It's not easy to take another person's life. Eighteen years ago, your old man also discussed motive with Prosecutor Von Karma. You claim their collaboration is irrelevant? If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour... It could serve as a motive for murder. We couldn't talk with Mr. Gustavia 18 years ago, but this time things are different. If we connect everything we've learned so far, the truth might be revealed. Yes, I suppose so. It seems I must re-examine the information from 18 years ago. I must recall all the details that have remained unexplained. So, the gloved finger marks on the picture frame was your doing- Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so Alicia denied leaving the finger marks on the frame. If they were left by Mr. Gustavia, he may have been trying to view the angel's recipe. Monsieur Master asked me to charge the film in the camera. It seemed the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. There wasn't enough film? It seems the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film remaining. Well, he told me himself it might have been just a mistake, though. The information my father collected 18 years ago was certainly not for naught. If there is no evidence, then I shall use logic to reveal the truth. <sighs> Gustavia helped Dover with his finals dessert, but Dover didn't help. Well, that seems like a pretty decent motive. For murder. <sighs> a little weak, but <laughs> there have been weaker motives. Mr. Gustavia, you collaborated with the victim, Isaac Dover, to create your desserts, didn't you? Oh, it seems you know about my secret. Mr. Shields told me about it. Mr. Dover handled the design while you were in charge of the taste, is that correct? Mm. Back then my training had been insufficient. It seems you worked together through the semifinals, but not during the finals. Why is that? We both wished to compete in the finals against Sir Master on our own merits. You must have also helped with Isaac Dover's dessert even during the finals. Mm. What makes you able to declare something like that? Didn't you tell Prosecutor Von Karma about it yourself 18 years ago? That you cooperated until the day before the finals? The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. <clears throat> That's right! So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals? Oh man, I missed Von Karma. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavi in return? <laughs> the views of the dead are of no concern to me! Wow! That might be the last time we hear him ever talk, which is sad. Goodbye. <laughs> why did Isaac Dover not help you in return? <clears throat> if there is a reason why your partnership with Isaac Dover broke down, that would add- that would be a motive for murder. <sighs> that could be a possibility. However, Sir Dover and I ended our partnership peacefully. A peaceful breakup? That's hard to imagine. Not to mention, it's absurd to think that I killed Sir Dover in Mr. Master's room. I couldn't have killed Sir Dover while Sir Master was also there, making his desserts. In other words, there's no way I could have committed the murder. That's not true. If there was a moment when Mr. Master was absent from the room, I could prove that it was possible for Mr. Gustavia to commit the murder. He left the room to go get the film and the What? Why does that make any sense? If he had photographed the contents of the Angel's recipe, he wouldn't need to steal it. That's true. Perhaps Mr. Gustavia used Mr. Master's camera to take the pictures. If he had stolen the actual recipe book, the police would have found out! I see. Pictures, eh? 
The problem is the time at which he entered Mr. Master's room. Miss Gustavia could have moved around freely during the afternoon tea, right? Because it seems both him and Mr. Dover did not participate in the afternoon tea. They aren't at Redwall. If I remember correctly, the only time we can prove that Dover was still alive is... The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. Okay, that might be the last time we see him talk. <laughs> was Master's desserts all that you ate? Actually, no. After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. After the contest began, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. If we assume he was killed at some point before Delicia snuck it into the room, then there is a high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. I wonder what ones to do <laughs> to match up, guys. Yeah, I know. So hard. Isaac Dover was alive up until the afternoon tea began. Ergo, that is the only time when Gustavia could have killed Dover. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you satisfied? Heh. <laughs> Sorry, but I am far from satisfied. Because I am finally starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you saying you have found some evidence to show us the truth? No, there's no need to present any evidence. Since we can just have Mr. Gustavia tell us the truth. Ah, so this is where you use that, right? Indeed. Mr. Gustavia, there is one thing I want you to tell me. I said, Mr. Gustavia, there's one thing I want you to tell me. No! Oh, what, what is it? During the finals of the contest, you made your desserts on your own. I wanted to compete for the title of the world's greatest pastry chef on my own merits. If that was truly the case, you would have competed on your own merits from the start. I want you to tell me why it was necessary for you to cooperate with Isaac Dover. Good point. Mm-hmm. Time for some chess. Oh, do I have to do it? At this point, I think we could try just, like, you tell me what you would say. Okay. During the contest 18 years ago, Mr. Gustavia collaborated with Mr. Dover. I wonder what made them decide to cooperate in the first place. They're kids. That's what I need to draw out from him, but... Hmm. It seems he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. First, I'll ask about why he collaborated with Mr. Dover. The truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Logic chess begin! Why did you decide to collaborate with Isaac Dover? Sir Dover and I were already acquaintances even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. Heh. <laughs> Joining forces with a sculptor, you weren't confident in your own abilities? You know nothing about me. We wanted to make great works together. You couldn't make it on your own? I will reveal all your lies for what they are. Oh. Is that all? You bore me with your empty threats, Sir Prosecutor. Gah! I need to be careful not to make careless statements. I thought that would be fine since he wasn't pretending to meditate. No, no, when he pretends to meditate, that's when we push. Oh, it's the opposite. Yeah. Okay. I must read my opponent's reactions and emotions and strike with the right words. Okay. Sir Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. We all got along well from the start. Really? So you are going to share the title of the world's greatest pastry chef together? <clears throat> As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. Mr. Dover was a sculptor. I doubt he had any interest in the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. In that case, where did his true goal lie? Indeed, my goal was the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. However, Sir Dover's goal was the grand prize, the angel's recipe. I see. You cooperated because your interests were aligned. But there must have been a reason why your partnership soured. Sir Prosecutor, I am the victim of a poison. If you're going to suspect me in this manner... 
Perhaps I'd better return to the infirmary. W wait a moment. In that case, you should end things soon. I am not a patient man. It seems he's trying to leave. I can't let that happen. He's still hiding something. Next, I should ask him about his true goal. I need to keep the pressure on him while being cautious of the time. Didn't you have another goal besides the title? The title alone doesn't seem to have much value. But you also get a rap bouquet from the latest flower shop. <laughs> How dare you the likes of you insult the title of a confectionery artist. My only goal was the title itself. I had no interest in anything else. My dream was to become the world's greatest pastry chef. Wow. <laughs> I guess wait and see. Just possible with your skills. 18 years ago, I was lacking in design sense. However, things are different now. Oh, are you saying you have improved at your craft? Exactly, for I have trained in the Republic of Zainfa. Everyone's gone insane. <laughs> wow. Hey, wait and see. Yes, yes! At the time, I also studied Mr. Master's works. I would often watch his show with my son. So, you were studying Mr. Master's work to improve your own skills. If you had his recipes, perhaps it would have been easier for you to become the world's greatest. And perhaps. To a pastry chef, Sir Master's recipes were worth their weight in gold. Uh -huh. You were interested in his recipes. Heh. <laughs> if becoming the world's greatest pastry chef was your goal, you should have also been interested in the grand prize, the angel's recipe. The recipes of the world's greatest pastry chef. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't interested. However, I wouldn't think that simply being that interested would be a problem. I wonder about that. The angel's recipe's true nature was not for making desserts, but cures. And all of the contest participants should have been aware of that. Yeah. Looks like I'm getting close. He isn't meditating anymore. Now to slowly but surely drive him into a corner. Oh, we didn't even get to choose the other option. Next, I'll ask about what he planned to use the recipe book for. What did you plan to use? Did you intend to win the angel's recipe and use it to make desserts? Of course! If I obtained the angel's recipe, I was going to use it in my train. I hear the angel's recipe was worth a lot of money. <clears throat> I don't know the exact details, but... That recipe book was much too valuable to be sold. Mm. Is he meditating? Yeah. Oh, uh, you seem to know a lot. Pay attention. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you seem to know quite a lot about the angel's recipe. <clears throat> it was explained to all the contest participants at the beginning of the contest. Heh. <laughs> In that case, you must know about the recipe book's true nature. That it was not a recipe book for desserts at all. Yes! Impressive, Sir Prosecutor. So you know the true nature of the Angel's Recipe. The Angel's Recipe. Some have called it the ultimate recipe book. It contained formulas for new medicines that were not yet on the market. He knew the recipes were actually formulas for new medicines. This could be a useful clue. The Angel's Recipe. Did you know its true value? Silly question! It contains Sir Master's best dessert recipes. Any pastry chef worth their salt would want it. Looks like that clue will come in handy. You may have studied design in Zainfa. However, your skills in lying could use more work. You just said earlier that the Angel's recipe contained formulas for medicines. <laughs> you weren't interested in desserts. You wanted the medicine formulas. Uh, you needed a new medicine? Oh, right, his son died, didn't he? Or what? Didn't, didn't his son run away, or like... What? Didn't something happen with his family? Oh, where they, where they don't know where his son is now? Yes. Yeah. Now, why would a pastry chef such as yourself be so interested in medicine? Perhaps what you were really after was the information about the new medicine? No! No! <sighs> underestimated you, Sir Prosecutor. Yes. My goal was more than just the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. 
At the time, my son was ill. I needed that recipe for the medicine! I told you. Your son was ill? Tell me more about that. To protect my son's honor, I can say no more. Hmm. Judging by the worried look on his face, I must have struck a nerve. Next, I need him to tell me more about his son's illness. Do, 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 this is it. This will be my final move of the game. Logic chest. What was your son like? What kind of a person was your son? Ah, my boy! He loved the desserts I made! Did you enter the contest solely for your son? Sir Prosecutor, you could never understand the feelings a father has for his son. I wanted nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. <laughs> Until the semi-finals, my son would always drop by the contest venue to play. Is that so? Wouldn't he get in your way? I doubt you had time to care for your son while you were challenging Mr. Master. That may be so, but I wanted to grant my son's wish. He said he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. <laughs> Wait and see. Mm. My condition may be worsening. I should get back to the infirmary. W wait! Uh, I was too passive there. Oh, really? I must read my opponent's reactions and emotions and strike with the right words. Okay. Yeah, right. I think you and I read it wrong at the same time, where it's like, your son sounds healthy if he only wants to eat dessert. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> sounded like. It's like, oh, sounds real healthy. About your son... If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult for him to come and play with you? <sighs> My son's illness. It wasn't life-threatening. Hmm. That might serve as a clue. What was the name of, what was the name of your son's illness? <sighs> Sir Prosecutor, how insensitive of you! My son was seriously ill! I will not be discussing this with the likes of you! Looks like that clue will come in handy. You told me your son's illness was not life-threatening. Is there really a need to be so secretive about it? I mean, some people don't want others to know that they have irritable bowel syndrome. Like, come on. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know? It was enough to keep him from living a normal life. That must have been difficult for your son. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. I wasn't fair for the poor... It wasn't fair for the poor boy. He could never taste the desserts he loved so much. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Was he too, too fat? fat. <laughs> <Taste disorder. laughs> the angel's recipe contains a cure for a certain illness. A remedy that could also cure Mr. Master's taste disorder. What? He had it too? He had it too. I see. So your son suffers from a taste disorder. No! I didn't think you'd figure it out so quickly! In order to cure your son's taste disorder, you needed the recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? It is as you say. Based on how he's acted up until now, it appears he is still hiding something. It seems I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. The recipe book have only a cure. Did the angel's recipe have the only cure? Yes, though the medicine is being sold everywhere now. At the time, the recipe book was my one and only option. That's why I continued making my desserts without joining the others for tea time. So you weren't interested in what Mr. Master was making? You sure seemed confident in your chances of winning. I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' desserts. You just said earlier that you studied Mr. Master's works. In addition, if your goal was to win the contest in order to get the medicine formula, you must have been curious about the other contestants' entries as well. <clears throat> there was no time to sample the other desserts during the contest, but... There was. None of their entries had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. I suspect I may have been a bit nervous as well. So everything he ate tasted flavorless. This could be a useful clue. So that was an interesting, we had to find two clues to, in order to proceed. Mm. 
Was he too fat? <laughs> he was so fat he couldn't taste anything. That's not how that works. <laughs> That's not how it works at all. Looks like that clue will come in handy here. Being unable to taste anything, regardless of what you eat, such a bitter illness. That reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel like eating any of it, wasn't it? Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. It's hard to imagine being a successful pastry chef without a sense of taste. Perhaps what you really wanted was to cure yourself? <laughs> That's completely ludicrous. Eighteen years ago, I made those desserts all by myself. To collaborate. Heh. <laughs> it seems you've caught yourself in a contradiction. Didn't you cooperate with Isaac Dover in the contest? You can hardly say you made the desserts all by yourself. <laughs> you must take great pride in your abilities as a pastry chef. But to betray your pride and cooperate with another contestant. You did it all to cure your own disease! This is so intense. Well done, Sir Prosecutor. It's as you say, the one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I. No one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. Haven't you gotten the medicine by now? It doesn't matter how long the secret is kept. If you lie before me, I will expose it. Dane Gustavi and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for the new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition, and Dover most likely to sell the recipe book for money. For this reason, they entered the contest as a collaborative effort. And with that... Checkmate. Logic just complete! I have never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Taste disorder? It was a severe disorder. I was unable to discern any flavor at all. It's the one illness a pastry chef dreads above all. Those symptoms sound a bit different from Mr. Master's taste disorder. Mr. Master's condition is known as hypergrossia. It simply causes a decreased sensitivity to certain specific flavors. I'm sure it has caused Sir Master much pain, too. After all, no medication was available to cure it 18 years ago. In order to cure your taste disorder, you would need Mr. Master's Angel's recipe. And that's why you entered the contest, am I correct? That was one of my goals, but I still had my sights set on the title of the world's greatest. When it comes to making desserts, I won't lose to anyone! Even without the ability to taste, I still have the utmost confidence in my flavors. Oh? So I presume you also prepared your dessert in the finals with the intent to win? That goes without saying. According to what Mr. Shields told us earlier, the evaluation of Mr. Gustavia's entry was... Up until the semifinals, Mr. Gustavia's flavors and design worked to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his finals entry left much to be desired. It seems the dessert you made for the finals was not rated highly in regards to flavor. <clears throat> Mr. Gustavia, you will tell us about how you made your dessert during the finals. Very well. It seems I must teach you upstarts a lesson. Upstarts. Dessert for the finals. So Dover and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the flavor, he was in charge of the design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I had mine made completely on my own. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. How about that, Sir Prosecutor? That is the truth of 18 years ago. Mm, I can't find any contradictions in his testimony. Well, of course he isn't going to fess up that easily. This guy's been on the run for 18 years, after all. Guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, eh? Yes. Well, we'll have to do that next time on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Thanks for watching, everybody! Next time! Well, if we, you, uh, we, we cross-examine him, and we're gonna learn even more about, about the this. truth 
I okay. do I do believe this is the final segment. That that makes more sense. Yeah, because we're finally like confronting the person who we think is the culprit. Who we think anyway. Yeah. It was actually very butts the whole time. It's just, just, it's just Courtney, and then we never see her in any more cases. She's, on <laughs> she's not actually the main character. <laughs> she's like on the cover. She's like, dang it. <laughs> Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Thank you.